What's going on you guys? Eface Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys. The pick a card today is do they regret picking the karmic? Take with a plow, leave the rest. Timestamp is going to be in the description box and message box. And shout out to my subscribers, new or old, for coming through, building the channel, holding the vibes. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So we have three pals here. But hold on for one second. Okay, so like I was saying, we have three pals here. Instead of using crystals, I'm going to use cards. And the cards is going to be a little inspiration for you. A little mystery, a little poem, a little adventure. Whatever the universe feel you need to hear. So for pal two... I have two cards and they are doors. So if you pick this door, you have a message. If you pick this door, you have a message. Or if you pick both of the doors. If you don't like the doors, this is the deck for pile number one. For pile number two, you only have one door. A little Buddha. And then you have this deck. So, pal three now have three cards I think came out. Three doors you get. So, this is the first door. It's the second door. And then this is the third. Not really a door, but it's a doorway. And then this is the deck. So, these cards could be a little inspiration. I already said it already, so you know. So yeah, pick your deck, pick your deck on um, pile, and one, two, three. See you in pile one. Okay, pile one, if you pick this light blue door, if you pick this little hidden door in a hillside, or if you pick this deck, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys, hope all is well. And hopefully this can give you some insight, some closure, some... Hopefully it's just useful to you in any way that you, whenever you see this reading. And shout out to my subscribers, Noel O, for supporting the channel, holding the vibes, and coming through and just building the vibes. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Hold on for a second. Today's topic is, do they regret picking the comic? So we're going to jump right into it. Again, take what apply, leave the rest. So... And this section, this section, this section, and this section is like kind of uh, split off in quarters. So I have four questions that I asked, and they answered it, and then I'm going to clarify it a little more. And we're going to go from there. So the first question was, what is the truth behind the situation? Do they regret, do they regret picking the karmic? And what came out was deadly combo and escape. So what is the truth behind this? They do regret picking this comic because this comic is when they get together, they are very dangerous together. They're very explosive. They trigger one another. They are toxic together, basically. It seems like whoever they wit is a twin flame, a comic twin flame. It forces them to heal from a lot of trauma that they have, whether they notice or not, as well this could be a very passionate relationship with them. So a very sexual, passionate relationship that's very toxic and very tumultuous. Okay, so with this escape card, it says love is an emotional escape for you. Be sure you are getting involved for the right reasons. Again, this person doesn't get involved with people for the right reasons. And they went to this comic for whatever reason, because... One reason is they comically tied to this person, they not healing, so they haven't learned these toxic lessons or haven't healed their trauma, so they still codependent, insecure, amongst other things. So this person gets involved in relationships for the wrong reasons, and one of the reasons could be their image. Another reason could be their ego. It could be their cultural beliefs. Another question I ask is how does this affect them? So this person thinks that they're with us. They got tangled up with a sneaky snake. They know the person that they're with is deceptive. They know the person is there for ulterior motive. They're not there for just to love them or 
you know, to be there to help them grow or enlighten them mentally, spiritually, whatever it may be. They know this is not a healthy relationship. This person knows that this person is going behind their back. They know that the person that they with is a snake and they deceitful. They like to steal and swindle just like them. So it's like they met they match and they tangled with they match. It says unable to free yourself from a sticky situation, taking a step back help you see it clearly. But this person is all in their emotions, so they can't take a step back. This person is not used to being in their emotions. But for some reason, this karmic person gets them in their emotions. They know how to trigger their inner child wounds. Now, the next question I asked was, why is this being hidden from you guys? And it has closed off and endings. So on top of you, the universe closed out this karmic cycle, you guys are closed off to this person. So you don't know what is going on. You're going through your own endings. You're going through your own healing. If some of you need to heal, some of you don't need to heal. You just accepted it for what it was and walked off. But it says... Not emotionally available, distracted, hurt in the past. So some of you are still healing and hurt in the past and turned your back on this situation and, again, trying to heal your wounds. And it says you're pretending that it's not ending, but it's time to let go and make a fresh start. So for some of you guys, you guys definitely, for the ones that are still stuck in this, ooh, Sila, you need to... um really accept what is going on here you have to accept that this person is a karmic to you and that they mean you no good you need to kind of look within yourself and heal your inner child as well on whatever trauma you have from your past to get over this that will help you get over this but you really need to let the the sun go down on this let the because this this is basically over it's an ending so you got to let the sun go down some of you guys could be really going through it over this full moon the full moon that was just in Aquarius. Shout out to the Leos because today is your last day. Hopefully you enjoyed your season. And big up to the Virgos because they're coming in. So the other question I ask is how to deal with this information. Now, I'm going to get to that after I clarify it. Now, I'm surprised my brain didn't get thrown off because I didn't give you your messages from the cards that you picked. And I will do that now. If you pick this little hidden door that's in a hillside, it says nomad. The nomadic wanderer lies deep inside. So take a leap now. Don't crawl back inside. So start to go um, explore yourself, explore people, explore new areas. This is a time for exploration, for you to get new experience in your life. Because again, this cycle closed, so it's a new cycle opening up for you. So the universe, guides, God, whoever you believe in is going to bring new people to you, new adventures. But before then, you have to learn yourself. Because everybody kind of like lose themselves in a relationship to some degree. That's just human nature. Not everybody, but a large percentage of people. Your next card, if you pick this blue um, door, it says the Odyssey. Take in the beauty of the country land and botany. Explore the wonders like a gypsy, traveler, Odyssey. It's not coincidental that both of these cards are, like, going hand in hand. And they look totally different. Totally different vibes on the outside, but on the inside, clearly you guys need to go on a new adventure. You need to open yourself up to new things. Don't crawl back into your shell and hide because you've been hurt. The universe want to bring people to you that's going to love you, that's going to appreciate you. And with the Odyssey, it says take, take in the countryside. Look at it. It's like, like I said, it's like, a hidden countryside villa, if you will. It says, and botany. And botany is the beauty, the, the land, the, the flowers, the lushness, mother nature. So it's time to take in the beauty. Explore it. Some of you need to go into nature and balance yourself. That's going to help you get over this situation here if you're still trapped in it. And just go like a gypsy. Just go find yourself. Go explore. You know? So... Somebody here have mommy and daddy issues. This is causing this problem to exist as well. And somebody is definitely getting beat by karma. It's a lot of drama going on because it's a firestorm. Somebody could be a fire sign as well. And somebody has an uh, obsessive lover, a.k.a. this deadly combo. They obsessive, they dangerous, 
They're possessive. They're very karmic. They keep you keep you in a, um, a love triangle. They want to play on your mental. So let's start clarifying this. What deck I'm going to use to clarify this? Let's use your deck that you picked. Clarify the sneaky snake and tangled web. How does this affect power one? This is your person's energy. It says two of wands. The two of wands is somebody that is, well, in this card, you see how this person have their hand on their wand and the um, world in their hand, which means this person doesn't like setting down roots. This person is a person that like travels by the, fly by the seat of their pants. This person could be a person from the islands as well, but this person is, has a lot of ego. It's about their sexual endeavors. They know this person, again, is going behind their back. They're probably going behind their back and dealing with someone somewhere on the other side of the world. They could be on the internet dating and stuff like that. So they know this karmic is going behind their back. They know they're doing things that they shouldn't do. Clarify this two of wands. How is this? Affecting power one's person. You flip their reverse. Page of Swords. This is making them emotionally, un I mean, mentally unsteady. Page of Swords in reverse is a real demon. It's like a silver tongue devil. They deceitful. They say whatever they need to say to get whatever they want to get. This person is very ignorant and arrogant, but they are immature. This is an immature person, or you're dealing with this immature. Both of them immature, the karmic that they went to, because they reflect in one another. So they immature, they insecure, they think they know everything. This person is a silver tongue devil. Some of them probably wear a lot of gel in their hand, like this, slick their hair back. If you a female, or if this is a feminine energy, they could have long brunette hair, or you could have long blonde brunette hair, or strawberry blonde brunette hair. Some of you guys could kind of resemble this karmic that they went back to as well. What is the truth behind this deadly combo and this escape that how one collective person is escaping to? Knight of Swords and what is this card? The Eight of... I've never seen this card before. I didn't tell you, this, card, this deck is a new deck. I had it for several years but never used it. I really like this deck too. But what is this? This is the Eight of... I'm not sure. To be honest, I'm not going to even lie. Hold on, I'm not going to burn time. I'm trying to use my intuition to figure this out. Hold on. This looks like the Eight of Wands to me. Because it's wands that have buds coming off the wands. So it looks like Eight of Wands. So, um, damn it. What was the question that I asked? What is the truth behind this? This person, the truth behind this with this deadly combo. This person is, um, the communication that with this person is very... Very, very, very violent, very dangerous, very tyrannical. These people like to fight each other again. They're very dangerous together. It's very explosive. Very explosive, this duo. With the Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands is about a lot of, um, it could mean a lot of things, but with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands, yeah, this is very tyrannical energy. Somebody here could be a Gemini. Very, very tyrannical. Clarify this Eight of Swords and Knight of Swords. What is the truth behind this deadly combo? The Seven of Pentacles. These people are money hungry. Everything they do is for the betterment of money, but nothing is really growing. Nothing is growing. With the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles is something you need to tend to, but it's not growing. It's not growing. It's not. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Hold on for a second. Let's see something. Dun, 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 dun. Clarify the Knight of Swords and this Eight of Wands. What is the truth behind this? Look, you're lucky I'm with you. So some of them is um, making this person feel insecure, more insecure than they are. It says I secretly hate and competing with you. I told you this is a deadly combo. Clarify this Eight of, not the Eight. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? She's love bombing you. Yeah, see, things supposed to grow, but it's not going to grow. Love bombing only go to a certain degree, and then it crash back down, and it starts back up. He or she is love bombing you. 
It says Master Splinter is manipulating you. Master Splinter is somebody I'll call for the street, a person for the streets. Clarify the sneaky snake entangled situation. How does this affect how one's person? This person could be a Capricorn. They have a distorted view of love. Somebody could be a Cancer. It says you're the big loser I use. So they're being used. Like I said, they know they're going behind their back. Again, this person have mommy and daddy issues. So they're using them for their money, for sex. It says your group of friends actually are jealous. So their friends don't even like them. And they're gossiping about this. She's for the streets and love it. I told you, Miss Master Splinter. I told you I call them person for the streets. Okay, so let's get off of this real quick. Um, let's get to you. Uh, I don't want to use this deck because it seems like some of y'all already triggered. Y'all know it's over, but it's triggered. Let me use this deck for you guys. What um, insight do Power One needs, being that they closed off to this ending and they don't want to accept it? It says, overcoming obstacles. Get back on your feet. Gain strength from difficult situations. And that goes to the cards that you picked, the little doors. Clarify... Clarify closed off last messages. It says financial goals. Set and reach your financial goals to achieve financial stability. So some of you guys was dependent on this person for stability or for money or whatever. The universe, God, God, whoever you believe in, your God ancestors, they want you to get on your own feet. They want you to focus on your money. Don't focus on the situation. Now, how do you deal with this situation? It says starting over in vicious cycle. It says starting over, ending it, and moving on, or trying again. The X is back. So somebody went back to their karmic X. It's clarifying it and proving it in many ways in this um, spread. It says pattern of a relationship issues, bad habit, no win situation. So you have to start all over because this is a no, no win situation. Focus on your money. Focus on um, exploring yourself or exploring new pastures in life. Start overcoming obstacles, and this, this relationship will be the biggest obstacle because it seems like some of you guys are still stuck. And you guys have free will, but if they come back to you, this is what's going on. And they are covert narcissists. They are covert narcissists. A dark empath, somebody that used your feelings against you. So like and subscribe if you have gotten something from this. Till next time in Taroland. Pal 2, if you pick this deck, or if you pick... This door with the little Buddha, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hope all is well. Hopefully you could get some insight in your situation. And hopefully this reading is useful to you. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old, for coming through, holding the vibes, building a channel. And if you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. Take what apply, leave the rest. The title today is Do They Regret Picking the Comic? So... We're going to get right into it. Let's get to your card first. So if you pick the little Buddha, this is your little message. It says, offerings. Abundance lies in the heart that allows. Share more than expected and see love come around. So you need to open your heart for some of you guys that resonates with this pal or resonate with this message if you know you're closed off. It says abundance lie in the heart that allows. So abundance can only come to you if you have if you have an open heart and you open enough for it to pour into you. And it says share more than expected to see love come around. So what energy you put out is what energy comes back. And some guys, some of you guys could actually be sharing with somebody who actually it's in the same situation like you, and you don't even know it. Like, they need to accept abundance as well. So it's like you're, help, it's like, how can I say? It's like paying it forward, if you will. So, okay, let's get to it. Do they um, regret picking a comic? The first card out is the Five of Cups, Scorpio Energy. So, yes, they do. And then you have the Ace of Cups. Because this reading, right, that how I have it, is divvied up in quarters, and I ask four questions. So the first question is, what is the truth behind the situation? For them picking this comic, and the truth behind the situation with this Five of Cups and this Ace of Cups is that this person is definitely regretting this. This person is mourning. Some of them are, um, 
some of them could have had um, death in a family or somebody here could be mourning about death in a family if that is your situation I send condolences to you guys but yes this person is drowning in the emotions that they have it's like they have um, they have ancestors guides trying to help them get over this they even could have a best friend that's trying to help them get over it but this person is mourning and for some of you walking away from them or you breaking up and them going back to the karmic have increased this feeling of the loss for this loved one um, I don't or some of you guys could I just got a message some of you guys could be mourning the person that you like some of you could have went somebody could have went back to the karmic and the person they was with passed away that the one that they left and really wanted to be with passed away hopefully that's not it it could go for somebody because I am getting that as a download kind of strong but I'm gonna get out of that energy so with the ace of cups and this five of cups this is like this person is reminiscing on what what love y'all yeah, used to have how you used to love them, how you used to be there for them, how you was a best friend for them. You was a champion of them. You always had their back. You was there to pick them up. You was always there to make them feel like they can do it, they can win, they are a winner. Okay, so the next question I ask is, how does this affect the person you're watching this for? Now, it went... The Knight of Pentacles came out and then the Emperor came out. So some of you guys could have been married to this person or they went back to somebody they was married to or this person could just come across as somebody that's a leader or somebody that have big dick energy. But how is this affecting this person? This person it seems like they are no longer in this... How can I say? For some of them, the, the karmic that they went back to is hating on the fact that they are doing better than them, like they have more money than them. Another way to look at this, the karmic that they are with is a knight of pentacles. So this person is really not really invested in this relationship the way this emperor will want somebody to to invest in this relationship or they not investing in a relationship like you would have invested in a relationship because again, they went back to the karmic. Somebody here could be a uh, Aries Somebody could be a Libra as well. There is strong Libra and Aries energy here. And then you have the Tower. So that's strong Scorpio, Libra, Aries, and Taurus energy. So all this energy here seems to be that energy. Libra, Taurus, Aries, Scorpio. Yeah. And then a fool is here. The fool could be anybody's energy, but this is your energy. So if you could be any sign over here. So I'm going to get to that in a minute. Yeah, so this person doesn't feel as, um, they don't, they don't feel as happy as they would have felt when they were with you guys. Because the Knight of Pentacles is going nowhere. Whoever they went with, they're not equally yoked to this person. Some of you guys could have been equally yoked with one another. So they missed that. They missed the fact that this person is immature. If they're not immature, they're scared to invest emotionally in a, in a mature way. Okay, so the next question is, why is this being hidden from you? The justice came out, the tower came out, and then the nine of blades just came across in this. So the reason why this is being hidden from you, for one, this is balancing the scales. This is calm about being balanced. So it's like your guides, God, whoever don't want you be don't want you in the middle of this drama, in the middle of this argument. You are not supposed to be the diplomat trying to balance this person's situations. But this person is in a lot of a lot of heated um, drama during this time. And we in Mercury retrograde. Mercury's in retrograde. We just came off of a full moon in Aquarius. And we in Leo season. That energy is opposed, opposing one another. So this person is going through a lot of chaos. A lot of erratic chaos with this tower here. Some of them could have had a getting phone calls that they had a house fire or some some rugs is being pulled from underneath this person's feet. And your guys, God, divine ancestors don't want you around this destruction. They don't want you around this because some of you are going to feel 
bad for this person. Some of these people could be going through violence, violent situations. And with the nine of blades here, again, you guys, God, divine ancestors don't want you thinking about this because they know that you will be stressed out about this. Some of you could have a, a pug. Some of you, trigger warning, could be a person that have mental um, um, instabilities and you take pills or you drink a lot trying to get over this situation. Somebody could be born on October 10th. Or 1010 could be important for you. Angel number you should look up. And some of you guys could be could be a person who cut yourself. Could be a cutter. If it applies to you, it applies to you. But the five of coins here in a fool, how you should be dealing with this information, you need to, with the five of pentacles, just let this go. Leave this out in the cold. And be a fool and start a new adventure. Be optimistic. Believe in yourself. Believe that your new beginnings and um, whatever advice is coming through in this reading is for the betterment of you to move on. Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening. So, yeah. Let me get some a little message here for you. What messages does Pal 2 need that's going through this? What will help them get through this situation? It says, rediscover yourself. Treat yourself. What are you? What are your interests? Are you hiding from yourself to please others? Are you hiding from others to please others? Wait, what does it say? What are your interests? Meaning, what are you interested in? And that goes back to exploring what your, your doors. And it says, are you hiding yourself to please others? Versions of you. Like, are you hiding your true self to please other people? Like, say, for instance, you was born one way, right? And you know, say you're spiritual and your family is... Say, for instance, they Jehovah, and of, you know that's a clashing. Are you hiding the fact that you're spiritual to blend in with your family that's Jehovah, knowing that you don't really believe in that? And it says, do a 30-day challenge. Force yourself to do something new for 30 days to start a new habit. And it says, over, no, I'm not going to tell you what that says, because that's not going to ben benefit you. It's not going to benefit you. So, you guys, if you have gotten something from this, like, you know, subscribe, going up to Power 3. Till next time in Taroland. Okay, pile three, if you pick this deck, or if you pick this door, this door, or this door, this is your reading. Shout out to you guys, hope all is well. Hopefully this reading could be useful to you, and hopefully you're in good spirits. The title is, Do They Regret Picking a Comment? Take with a pile, leave the rest. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old, for holding the vibes, building the channel. If you're a visitor, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. So, jump right into this. I'm going to read the messages from your doors. It could be a little, you know, I just said it earlier, so I don't have to say it again. So, if you pick this door, this is your message. A distant kiss is, no, sorry for that. A distant kiss and a prayer flag. I wish of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain. I need you near. Wow. I didn't know what I don't read these beforehand, so that's pretty interesting. That's that's a message within it of itself. Yes, this person regret um, picking the comic for you guys whoever picked this. So it says for this door, a stranger's grace, ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a lo loving stranger. So yeah, they definitely regret picking the comic. Somebody took your kindness for weakness. You guys shouldn't take anybody kindness for weakness in this power either. Don't take people kindness for weakness. For both of these cards is the message. It says, inner power. By your own command, you brought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. Yeah, so be strong. Don't worry about what's going on here. Have inner power to know that you can get over this. Whatever comes out here, have inner power knowing that you have new beginnings coming. And you don't need to worry about this. This doesn't even need to affect you. And if it does, you would need to do some inner work and go to other pals because information will be over there for you. Insight and stuff will be there for you. This card came out in pal number one. So shout out to you guys who've been to multiple pals. Some of you guys could be a fire sign or this person is fire sign. But this person is being beat by karma right now. They're going through drama, but I'm not going to get to that. Well, let's get to it because um, I'm going to ask four questions. This is two questions, so let's get to question number two. How does this affect them? 
It affects them because they're being beat by karma. They're going through en endless, endless endings. They're having a mental breakdown, and they're going through loss. The loss is a.k.a. losing you. This person could be going to jail. This person is for the streets. They could be community dick. And over here, it says police station. So it's strong that this person has either gone to jail, in jail, or been arrested since the last time you have been around this person. This person is behaving like they fake busy, but this person don't have nothing to do. They have nothing occupying themselves. This person could be into pottery, or you guys could be into pottery. But this person is a person that wastes time. They're immature. They're insecure. And this is how this is affecting them. Okay, now the first question is, what is the truth behind this? This person acts like the person, the karmic want to be like you, or this person you was with wanted to be like you. They are an impersonator. They don't know themselves, so they copy people. This person caught a case. They caught an STD. Hopefully, they didn't give it to you before you guys separated. But yeah, this person has a bad health. They community dick, and I said this in another pal. You gave this person an ego death. Got the ego in reverse. The ego came out in pal one, I think. Different um, oracles, but it came out. You gave this person an ego death. This is the um, in reverse. The first pile was in the upright. And this person is haunted by the memories, the flashbacks. And they're going through trauma. Some of them did spell work. And it backfired on their ass. So, let's get to asking uh, this question. Why is this being hidden from pile three? Why is this being hidden from pile three? It says someone figured them out. Empath, light worker. I have been struggling since you left. Why is this being hidden from you? It's really not being hidden from you, but some of this stuff is being hidden from you because your guys don't want you to worry about this person. Some of you are empathic, so you're going to feel bad about this person. And if you know that they've been struggling since you guys left, since you left this person, some of you are going to want to go back and try to help them, but you can't go back and help them because they are not able to be helped. They're being beat by karma. If you go back, you're going to take on this person karma. And you figure this person out for some of you guys. Some of them need a place to stay. That came out in another pile. Totally different oracles. This dark empath came out. And I know it's too late came out. So you guys been in multiple pile, piles or there's messages in other piles for you. This person knows it's too late to come back to you. And this is, I'll tell you kind if you want to know. If you can't use your intuition. Some of this came from pile two and pile one. But this down here came from um, pile how to down here for sure for sure so how many minutes we got left let's clarify this a little more how is this i mean okay let's clarify this impersonator how is this affecting um pal three person this person could be an aries leo or sagittarius it's affecting them because they have nothing but ego they can't steal your energy anymore. Some of them can't impersonate you, so it's affecting them greatly. It says avoidance stalemate. This person is, they, they have to find themselves because this per, you're avoiding this person. So this person got to go find somebody else to be an energy vampire towards. Last message. This person is stuck. No leaps of faith. None of that. If you have gotten something from this, like and subscribe.